Praise the Lord and hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. The Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. His name is Jesus, and He is Lord today. He is Lord of my life. He is Lord of Pastor Dana Roman's life, Amen. who is sitting right next to me. And she is my guest today on Uniting the Nations broadcast. And we're so excited to be with you today. And right now, I want to give you an opportunity to go on Facebook Live right now and hit the share button or tag somebody that you know needs a miracle because we're going to be talking about miracles. We're going to be talking about the supernatural power of God and how that power is in our lives and how to use the power of God in our lives and how to be active. And so again, I am Pastor Leanne and this is Pastor Dana Roman and Pastor Dana is a good friend of mine and we've been doing ministry together for a long time, at least uh, 10 years. 2008, we, we met, and uh, her heart is so pure for God. And I'm finding more out about her all the time. I, she sent all these pictures out for her wedding anniversary and, and all the years of ministry that she and Pastor John Roman have done in the past 40 years. And so they have pioneered a lot of things for the kingdom. And what I want to encourage you on is this is a year of pioneering new things. This is a year of the unforgettable. You're going to do things and experience things that God has surprises for us. You know, the Bible says that uh, when we delight ourselves in Him, He will give us the desires of our heart. Mm -hmm. And so He's going to do that today for all of us. So again, call somebody. Uh, share this uh, Facebook page with somebody and believe in miracles with us today. You know, Jesus said this, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. That's women, children, that's the world. And today we're lifting Jesus higher, amen? Reminds me of a song. Yay, lift yeah. Jesus higher. Yeah. <laughs> lift Jesus higher. Mm. Hey, come on. So we're gonna talk today. I'm excited, my hand's already burning. I'm feeling the <laughs> anointing on my right hand. That means something is gonna happen. That's the power of God. I, I've been experiencing this, Pastor Praise Diana. Praise God. Uh, you know, I just got back from Israel, and on that trip, uh, when I came into the uh, Jerusalem, mm -hmm. uh, I rode in on a taxi, and uh, when I got to my hotel room on the 13th floor and opened the door, the power of God was so heavy on my right hand that it was red, and it, like you burn it on the stove, it had red, and I said, Jesus, what is this? Wow. But you know, Dr. Oral Roberts always talked mm. about the power of healing that was in his right hand. Mm. And I had the honor of meeting Dr. Oral on several occasions, mm -hmm. as you did yourself, Pastor mm -hmm. Dana. And he prayed for me. And I believe the anointing is caught. You can teach yes. on the anointing too, but it's caught. Hunger attracts the anointing, doesn't it? Yes. Amen. Yes, and does. I'm hungry today. How about you? I'm hungry for Jesus. Yay! <laughs> Pastor Dana can sing too, but today we didn't bring our tracks. But, but listen, we're getting ready to be together uh, June the 21st through the 23rd, uh, 2018 in uh, Palm Desert. And uh, that information, let me just go ahead and give it to you while we're here. It's June 21st through the 23rd. That's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Mm -hmm. And I have the honor of ministering with Pastor Dana at the Embassy Suites in Palm Desert. If you would like to come, women of God. And you have more information. Uh, Pat, the pastor who's hosting, it's a good friend of yours. Yes, Pastor Denotra Johnson. She's a general in the Army of God, um, 83 years young, has a lot of experience, ministered with Marilyn Hickey for years. I love Marilyn. And she is a pioneer. I believe she's an apostle as well. And she has a gift of deliverance and healing that is very powerful. Amen. And she's what, 80? 83. 83 years old. Yeah. Listen, you're never too old to get started. Amen. We're going to hit some keynotes today for everybody watching. Uh, women, children, men. Amen. Uh, Jesus said, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's your drunk cousin. Amen. That's your, <laughs> your runaway child. That's your enemy that lives two blocks down. Jesus can save anybody. If he can save me, he can save anybody. Amen. So mm -hmm. we're grateful for the salvation of the Lord. 
And so we're going to be talking about that today. All right. Uh, so women of God, Palm Desert, come be with us. Uh, I know your life will be changed because it's called cry out. Yes. Cry out, women mm, of God. Right. So we're going to be crying out and interceding. So we want you to come be with us. But I want to open up because we are talking about miracles and faith. Talking about Oral Roberts. Um, Catherine Kuhlman had a great healing ministry, and uh, Amy Simple McPherson, who we're going to be talking about on the second broadcast, which will air next week on Thursday. So you want to tune in to hear about uh, Amy's life. But today we're going to be talking about Smith Wigglesworth. Amen. And I have one of his books here. Uh, I have several of his books, but this one is called uh, Smith Wigglesworth on Prayer, Power, and Miracles. So again, today, expect a miracle. Mm -hmm. And Marilyn Hickey. I got to go back to Marilyn. Amen. Okay, I didn't bring her Bible, but I have one of Marilyn's Bibles. It mm -hmm. has God in every book of the Bible. She explains, and she's mm -hmm. in like 85 now, too, I she believe. She is around And there. still preaching, still going strong. Amen. And so, listen, you need to rise up and do something for Jesus today. Your life is not over. Amen. It's only just <laughs> begun. Amen. He wants you to enjoy life and have fun too. Amen. And so Pastor Dan has got some notes and I have some things. And um, I taught a little bit on this at our church last night. All right. And uh, by the way, Pastor Dana has a church called Radiant Church. Mm -hmm. And uh, everybody that comes there, their lives are changed. Amen. They come in one way and come out polished like a diamond <laughs> in the rough. And so it's a prophetic church too. Great healing and miracles happen there. And she's in San Bernardino with Pastor John, who leads worship, and they are so anointed. So I want to encourage you uh, to look her church up if you're in the San Bernardino area and get there uh, on Sundays and get filled up with the Holy Spirit, get empowered by God, because she is a wonderful Bible teacher. And all the church said, Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> So, Pastor Dan, I know you got some scripture. So, I, I printed some things out on out of the book uh, chapter of Hebrews 11, and I'll just read one verse out of that from the beginning, and it says in verse one, "Is hallmark of faith." This is the mm -hmm. hallmark of faith chapter. All those who had great faith, believing the promises of God, are in Hebrews chapter 11. I encourage you to read that; it'll build your faith. Uh, it talks about Abraham, Noah, Moses, um, Sarah, who gave birth when it was way past uh, childbearing days. God moved supernaturally in their lives, and it's called the hallmark of faith. Mm -hmm. And I want to ask you today, uh, I want to ask you a question personally as we get into this study. Are you, in the, are you going to be remembered in the hallmark of faith? Mm -hmm. or are you going to be remembered in the hallmarked fear? The opposite of faith, come on. we got to get rid of fear and start walking in faith. Now, faith is this. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. It is the word of God that we live by. God spoke in the word he spoke the word and everything came into existence. There's power in the word of God. So that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. So if you read on, it talks about all the faith chapters. Joseph, Abraham, Noah, Enoch. Enoch was translated. He didn't even die. He, he, he was called up. Why? Let me tell you why. Because he pleased God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't that awesome? Amen. How many want to please the Lord today? Yes. Surrender your life to Him. We're going to talk about that. So we're going to talk a little bit about Smith. <clears throat> so let me read Hebrews chapter 11, 33. I'm not going to read it, but write it down. And I want to read this to you, and then I'm going to ask Pastor Dana to interject. Probably there is not a greater word than anyone could bring to an audience than this word, like precious faith. Like precious faith means that God, who is from everlasting to everlasting, has always had people that he could trust. I say it like this. God has a trust fund. Amen. Yes. Can he trust you with his fund? Because hmm. he will fund you if you can trust him. Come on. Hallelujah. You ought to shout on that one. 
Amen. that he could illuminate and he could enlarge until there was nothing within them that could ever hinder the power of God. Now this precious faith is a gift that God is willing to impart to all of us. Mm -hmm. That is you and me, the cameraman, amen, your, your mama, your daddy, your neighbor, whosoever shall mm -hmm. call. Wow. Now this precious faith is a gift. He wants us to have this faith in order that we may subdue kingdoms, work righteousness, and if it should be necessary, stop the mouths of lions. Amen. How many of you could, could feel, bear witness to that right now? What we're talking about is faith and activating it mm -hmm. and using the authority that Jesus Christ of Nazareth has given unto you and me to walk in. But we have to take that authority. And when you know who you are in Christ, you will move mountains. Come on. Your faith will move mountains. Mark eleven twenty four. So Pastor Dana, Smith Wigglesworth raised the dead. Mm -hmm. Wow. Praise Fourteen God. people, it says he documented raised from the dead. Wow. He had an unusual ministry. And so I just feel today that God's going to heal people and deliver them. Amen. That there's going to be an activation going on today. Yes. Because Smith had a fifth grade education. Wow. <laughs> uh, he learned to read when he's in his 20s. His wife taught him, and the only book he ever read was the Bible. Wow. <laughs> That's why he had such a successful ministry, I believe. You know, we read everything, magazines, we read all. But what feeds our spirit is the Word of God. That's good. And so he did many miracles. He yeah. socked people in their stomach. They were healed of stomach cancer. He would hit people because he said that the devil would get in the way, so he would hit the spirit knock them out. <laughs> <laughs> today it would be a, a different story if we did that today. You know, we were talking about that earlier. But, you know, God can use us in any way. We don't want to limit him. That's right. Yeah. So, so, Danny, you have seen great miracles, Pastor Danny. You've, you have been in the ministry 40 years. What do you feel about Smith's ministry? Well, um, my father, Floyd Lehman, Pastor Floyd Lehman, he loved Smith Wigglesworth. And one of the things that my father did um, was he listened carefully to what the Father God was saying. Hallelujah. And I Amen. think that's what Smith Wigglesworth did too. He had an ability to hear God. Amen. And then whatever God said to him, he did it. And my father actually raised a man from the dead. Wow. Um, yes. Hallelujah. The man yes. was dying in the hospital. Rec records were um, written that the man was dead. And my dad went in there, and the Lord told him to go raise that man from the dead. Amen. He was a member of our church in Lakeport, mm -hmm. California. And so... He was raised from the dead. My dad just went in there with that authority that you were talking about. Come on. I know that's the type of authority Smith Wigglesworth had. Yes, he did. He knew Amen. God. Number one, he received God's compassion and God's love. But he loved God first. Yes. And Amen. then he loved people. Yes. And that Amen. is the secret to great faith. Love God first, then love people. Amen. And then hear from God and obey and do what the Father says to do. Matter of fact, there's a scripture Come on. in the New Testament that says yes. Jesus only did what, he saw what the his Father, father told him told to him. do. Yeah. He only did what he saw his Father do. So listening saying. and hearing Amen. is very important when you're operating in God's power and his miraculous and, you know, to know him more and to know him, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the fellowship we have with Christ is where that strength comes from. That anointing will come through worship, yes. through fellowship, through quiet time and, and shutting everything off and getting with Jesus. No matter what pulls on us, we have to shut the world down. Sometimes you just have to say, I'm not going to be pulled on in the world mm -hmm. today. I'm going to consecrate my life to Jesus Christ. I am going to be different. Amen. The people that God yes. used, uh, most of them had handicaps or stuttered or, 
or like Moses had a stuttering problem mm -hmm. and can really speak but God said you're the one that's going to go in and set the people free and he had a burning bush experience and it changed his life and I believe today that there are people watching Pastor Dana that God is going to change their lives and yeah. that this day this moment in time God wants to anoint you and use you for his purpose. It leads me to something else that Smith said, and this was so powerful. If I limit the Lord, and this is Smith Wigglesworth mm. speaking, he cannot work within me. But if I open myself to God, then he will surely fill me and flow through me. God wants to fill you and flow wow. through you. The book of Acts, Acts chapter 2, the power of the Holy Spirit leads me to yeah. David DuPlessis, Mr. Pentecost, mm -hmm. as you were, we mm -hmm. were talking earlier. Um, Smith gave a prophetic word to David DuPlessis in 1936. And Smith was spending time, and this is a teaching. I'm going to give you a teaching yeah. well with Pastor Dana. Smith stayed in people's homes. And he would, you know, of course it's in the 30s and 40s. They didn't really fly a lot. They got on boats and ships and went places. But he was staying with, uh, with David DuPlessis, and David was a part of the charismatic movement that took place. Mm -hmm. I can't remember, was it the 50s and 60s? Somewhere around there. In that, yeah. in that time frame. But Smith saw this prophetically in the 30s, 1936. Mm -hmm. And so he went in to uh, DuPlessis' office where he worked 12 miles from his house. He woke up at 6 in the morning, he walked in, he says, where's uh, Mr. DuPlessis? his wife. She said he's at the office. So he left, immediately went straight to the office, did not speak to the receptionist. He didn't talk to anybody. He walked straight in the door and David spoke to him. He didn't even speak to him. He picked him up, pushed him against the wall and began to say, thus saith the Lord. Wow. Powerful. You know, when God gives you a word, you know, there's a scripture in Luke chapter 10, verse four. Let me read you this. It says, don't take any money with you. It says, not a traveler's bag, not an extra pair of sandals, and don't stop to greet anyone on the road. It means, mm -hmm. as Smith used that scripture, he said, because God had a word for him, and it mm -hmm. was life-changing. That word was this, you will be a part of one of the greatest moves of the Holy Spirit that the earth has ever seen. There will be a great awakening of the power of God, and people will be filled by the Holy Spirit in different denominations. That word came to pass many years later, maybe 20 years Praise later. Praise God. And Smith says, I won't live to see it, but you will. Wow. And we are all a part of it. And David yeah. fulfilled that prophecy. It came to pass. But sometimes, Pastor Dana, you can't stop and speak to people. Mm -hmm. You've got to focus on what God has told you to do. And then later, Smith comes home and was talking to him and it was like nothing ever happened. <laughs> he goes, mm. He became himself. So when that, that power comes yes. on you, it changes you, doesn't it? Yes. As you prophesy, yes. you pray for the sick. Tell us what it's like. Well, it's a supernatural faith that comes on yes. me. Uh, I, Please I'm tell sure us. it happens to yeah. others as well, where yeah. I simply know there is a gift of faith, a supernatural Amen. faith, God. a supernatural anointing that God just pours into us and then we just release it and let it flow. Amen. That's, that's, it's very simple. <laughs> it is. But you can tell when that anointing is on a person, the presence of God, because they're, they're different. He was bold. Smith, yes. he had an assignment. When you've got an assignment, Jesus said it like this, I set my face towards Jerusalem like a flint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My assignment is to go to the cross. I cannot let anything hinder that. There's some of you who have got a calling on your life and things have tried to hinder it and stop it and keep it from coming to pass. Set your face towards Jesus. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. Mm -hmm. In every way, acknowledge Him. He will make your path straight today. And we believe God's doing miracles right now. And we want to pray for you. There's a number on the screen. You can call us anytime and we'll pray for you. I encourage you to call us. Yes. You know, faith is taking a risk sometimes. You know, we always sit back and go, what would people think about us? Hmm. 
That's right. Don't we? Yes, we do. Because we've been told we can't do it. When somebody tells me I can't do it, that means I can. <laughs> I just turn it around. That means that God says I can. If God says I can do it, I can do, and you can. All things through Christ Jesus. Who strengthens us. Yes. So talk to us. Pastor Dana has some things that she wants to share as well. Well, I just so agree. Um, Abraham, it says in Romans chapter 4, never wavered in believing God's promise. And um, he was fully convinced that God is able, God is able to do whatever we yes. ask him. Amen. And that was Abraham's secret, as you know, most of you know the story, that Sarah and Abraham were older in their years, and they're 96, 98, 100, and uh, they still hadn't had their promised child. Amen. But Amen. they waited on the Lord, Amen. and they did not waver. Every time a doubt would come into their mind, Amen. they would just get rid of it, Jesus. just Amen. release it and just believe, be fully persuaded that God is able. That is what great yes. faith is. Yes. Great faith is when we're, we're fully persuaded yes. and convinced that our faith is the evidence. It's not the miracle that's the evidence. Hebrews 11.1 1 says our faith is the evidence. So God is looking for the evidence of our faith in order to perform the miracle for us. So be fully persuaded. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. That neither death nor life shall ever separate us from That's the love right. of God. Yeah. And it's the love. She was talking about compassion. When I was in Israel, I had the honor of teaching on the Mount of Beatitudes. Mm -hmm. And on that spot, Jesus taught the disciples. And right before that scripture, he, it, the Bible says that he was moved with compassion. When he saw the multitudes and they were hungry, he was moved with compassion. That's it. So I want to ask you right now, let's just do this. Just put your hand over your heart. Amen. And let's ask the Lord right now. Fill us with your compassion, Lord. Give us a love for souls. Give us a desire to go out to the fields that are white for harvesting. Yes. And give us a compassion for the people that are lost. Not that we're, we're going to heaven. Yes, we have salvation. But give us a desire to be evangelists and go out into the world and turn it upside yes, down. Thank you, Lord. Just as your apostles did. So I pray right now that your healing bodies, Jesus, miracles right are happening, right. limbs are growing out, yes. eyes are being healed, deaf we people are mean. hearing. Open those ears, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Open those eyes, Lord Jesus. Thank Break you, Lord. that spirit of addiction off your people tonight yes, right in now. Jesus name Jesus across name. the world in the yes. mighty name of, receive yes. your miracle receive right in now. Jesus name we have two minutes Thank you, Pastor Lord. Dana pray for the people right now if you feel yes, a deadness God. in your spirit you don't feel alive Hallelujah. receive the life of Christ yes be resurrected from that deadness yes. and that that spirit that is oppressing you yes, in Jesus, Jesus name. name if you need raised from the dead even physically yes. and you're having an attack mm -hmm. that is trying to take your life I speak life to you in the Lord, name of Jesus Lord, right Lord, now so resurrection life be made whole yes. and be raised up out of that deathbed right now receive it in Jesus name by the stripes of Jesus be made whole, be, be made whole, name. be healed. Be we declare your yes, mighty God. healing and be washed in the blood of Jesus. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, ask him in, now. receive him right now. Receive Just say, him. come in, Lord Jesus. I need yes, you yes, and I receive yes, you. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. We want to hear from you too. Please contact me, mygatheringplaceinternational.com. It'll be on the screen. Jack will put it on the screen, mygatheringplaceinternational.com. Write us. We have church every Sunday night at 6 o'clock in L.A. If you want to come and be in the training center, it's a revival center. We're not a normal church. I always tell people that. But also, I'm going to be in Mexico June 29th, 30th, and July 1st. We are having a Healing of the Nations Crusade Conference. 
Friday night women's conference, Saturday in the park, toys, Bibles, food. We're, we're purchasing coloring books. And if you want to help us, go to our website and you can give a donation, five, ten dollars, help us get Bibles. Anything you give will help us go and take the gospel to the nations of the world. Amen. We love you. Pastor Dana, uh, her church again is Radiant Radiant church. church in Colton, California. Amen. I said San Bernardino, it's okay. but it's in that area. Five minutes from San Bernardino. Colton. Powerhouse Church, get there this Sunday. Amen. So we love you, and we're grateful to be able to minister to you right here on Uniting the Nations. Please let us hear from you. I love you. God bless you. Pastor Dana, thank you. Thank you. And we'll be back on next week. Amen. See you next week. God bless. Love you. Bye-bye.